Did you ever wonder why we haven't heard from extraterrestrial civilizations, despite the vastness of the universe? It's a conundrum known as the Fermi Paradox, named after physicist Enrico Fermi. But what if I told you that the solution to this mystery was proposed back in 1967? Brace yourselves, because it's quite terrifying. The Fermi Paradox, named after the Italian-American physicist Enrico Fermi, known for his significant contributions to the development of quantum theory and nuclear energy, posed a simple yet profound question during a casual lunch conversation in 1950. Where is everybody? The Fermi Paradox tries to determine the existence of extraterrestrial civilizations in the Milky Way galaxy based on an analysis of exoplanets. The Drake Equation and the vast number of stars in contrast to the conspicuous lack of any observable signs or evidence of such civilizations. The Drake Equation is a formula used to estimate the number of active, communicative extraterrestrial civilizations in the Milky Way galaxy. It was formulated in 1961 by Dr. Frank Drake, not for the purpose of quantifying the number of civilizations, but to stimulate scientific dialogue at the first scientific meeting on the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI. The Fermi Paradox challenges our understanding of the universe and our place in it, prompting questions about the nature of life, the development of technological societies, and the factors that might limit the visibility or lifespan of advanced civilizations. By questioning why, we have not yet encountered other intelligent life forms. Despite the seemingly favorable conditions for their existence, the Fermi Paradox touches on issues of communication across vast interstellar distances, the potential rarity of life-sustaining conditions, and the possible self-limiting trajectories of technological civilizations. This paradox remains a central topic in the fields of astronomy, astrobiology, and the philosophical study of extraterrestrial life, continually inspiring debate, research, and a deeper exploration of the cosmos. In 1967, an intriguing and somewhat unsettling solution was proposed to the Fermi Paradox, offering a darker perspective on the fate of advanced civilizations in the universe. This solution suggested that advanced extraterrestrial civilizations might be inherently prone to self-destruction as they reach a critical level of technological and scientific development. This hypothesis is rooted in the idea that with the advancement of technology comes greater power, but also greater risk. As civilizations become more advanced, they might develop technologies that could lead to their own undoing, such as immensely destructive weaponry or AI systems that potentially threaten their creators. Such civilizations could potentially wipe themselves out through nuclear war, environmental degradation, or the unintended consequences of advanced technologies. It suggests that the key challenge for any advanced civilization might not just be the technological ability to explore the cosmos, but also the wisdom to manage and survive their own technological capabilities. Several additional theories were formulated to solve the Fermi paradox and explain the absence of an extraterrestrial presence in the Milky Way galaxy. These theories consisted of Rare Earth Hypothesis, The Great Filter, Zoo Hypothesis, They Are Already Here, Lack of Technological Capability, Communication Is Too Difficult. The Rare Earth Hypothesis proposes that while simple, microbial life might be common in the universe, complex intelligent life is exceedingly rare. Here are some key aspects of this hypothesis. These include the planet's distance from the sun, the presence of a large moon, a magnetic field, plate tectonics, crucial for recycling carbon and other elements, and the right mix of chemical elements. A stable solar system like ours, with Jupiter-like gas giants that can deflect comets and asteroids, is considered rare. Such large planets help to minimize the number of potentially life-extinguishing impacts on inner planets where life might evolve. Earth is situated in a galactic habitable zone, where it's safe from extreme radiation and the gravitational disruptions of the galactic core and spiral arms. Finally, the hypothesis argues that intelligence and technology, as they exist on Earth, are not an inevitable outcome of evolution but rather a rare occurrence. The Great Filter Theory is a fascinating and somewhat ominous concept that seeks to address the Fermi Paradox. It suggests that there is a stage, or multiple stages, in the possible progression of life from its simplest form to a technologically advanced civilization which is extremely difficult for any life form to overcome. The Great Filter could represent one or more hurdles in a series of critical steps that life must navigate to reach an advanced state. These steps might include the emergence of life from non-life, a biogenesis, the transition from simple to complex multi-celled organisms, 
the development of intelligent life, and the emergence of a technologically advanced civilization capable of communicating across interstellar distances. One potential great filter could be the initial jump from inorganic chemistry to the first living organisms. This stage, known as abiogenesis, involves the formation of basic organic molecules and their assembly into self-replicating structures. The exact process by which this occurred on Earth is still not fully understood, suggesting it could be a rare event in the universe. On Earth, simple microbial life existed for billions of years before complex life forms emerged. This suggests that the transition to a complex life might be a rare and difficult step for life to achieve elsewhere. Intelligence, as humans define and understand it, may not be a common outcome of evolution. This perspective suggests that all sufficiently advanced civilizations eventually destroy themselves before or shortly after developing interstellar communication capabilities. This could occur through a nuclear war, an environmental catastrophe, or some other unforeseen existential risk. The zoo hypothesis is a speculative and imaginative solution to the Fermi paradox, suggesting a reason for the apparent absence of contact with extraterrestrial civilizations despite the high probability of their existence. This hypothesis proposes that advanced extraterrestrial beings are aware of Earth and humans, but have chosen not to reveal themselves to us, maintaining Earth as a sort of zoo or wildlife sanctuary. The central idea of the zoo hypothesis is that advanced alien civilizations intentionally avoid contact with us to allow for natural evolution and sociocultural development, similar to zookeepers trying not to disturb the animals in their care. They might be observing us in a non-intrusive way, ensuring that their presence remains undetected. The hypothesis is somewhat akin to the prime directive in the Star Trek science fiction series, a rule prohibiting technologically advanced species from interfering with the natural development of less advanced civilizations. Advanced aliens might believe that direct interaction would irrevocably alter Earth's culture or societal trajectory. By avoiding contact, they preserve Earth's unique cultural and biological diversity, allowing humanity to develop its own identity and destiny. It's possible that these civilizations are waiting for humanity to reach a certain level of technological, intellectual, or ethical development before they initiate contact. The they are already here theory suggests that extraterrestrial beings might have already visited Earth or are present among us, but their existence remains either undetected, undisclosed, or is not widely acknowledged. This theory spans a range of ideas, from UFO sightings to more complex notions of extraterrestrial involvement in human affairs. One of the most common elements of this theory is the belief that unidentified flying objects, UFOs, are evidence of extraterrestrial visitations. Numerous individuals and groups claim to have seen UFOs or had encounters with alien beings. While most of these sightings can be explained by natural or human-made phenomena, a small fraction remains unexplained, fueling speculation about alien visitors. The ancient astronaut theory proposes that aliens visited Earth in the distant past and made contact with early human civilizations. Proponents of this theory often point to ancient myths, religious texts, and archaeological sites, suggesting that they contain evidence of or were influenced by extraterrestrial visitors. They argue that some technological and cultural leaps made by ancient civilizations were facilitated or inspired by alien beings. Some believe that governments, particularly those with advanced aerospace capabilities, have evidence of extraterrestrial beings, but keep it secret from the public. This belief is often linked to conspiracy theories involving recovered alien spacecraft, clandestine government projects, and interactions with extraterrestrial beings. This less common idea suggests that extraterrestrial beings might be living on Earth, hidden from human detection. These beings could be living in remote or inaccessible places, underground or even in parallel dimensions or cloaked spaceships. Another variation of this theory is the idea that extraterrestrials might be influencing human society indirectly, perhaps through telepathic or other non-physical means. This could involve guiding the development of human culture and technology or subtly manipulating human affairs. Some theories suggest that extraterrestrials are involved in genetic experiments with humans, creating human-alien hybrids. This is often linked to abduction narratives where individuals claim to have been taken by aliens for experimentation. The lack of technological capability theory suggests that the reason we haven't detected signs of extraterrestrial life is simply because our technology is not yet advanced enough. 
This theory implies that either our means of detecting signals are too primitive, or that extraterrestrial civilizations are using communication methods or technologies far beyond our current understanding. The search for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI, relies on radio telescope arrays to detect signals that might be emitted by extraterrestrial technologies. However, this approach assumes that alien civilizations are using radio waves for communication, which they might have progressed beyond. We could be missing signals because we're listening on the wrong frequency or because we're using the wrong medium entirely. It's possible that advanced civilizations use communication technologies that are incomprehensible to us with our current scientific knowledge. Alien civilizations might use non-electromagnetic means of communication such as gravitational waves or something entirely unknown to us. Even if extraterrestrial civilizations are using electromagnetic waves, their signals could be so advanced and encrypted that they appear as background noise to us. Advanced civilizations may have reached a technological singularity, a point where technological growth becomes uncontrollable and irreversible, resulting in unforeseeable changes to their civilization. Post-singular societies could operate in ways that are beyond our current scientific understanding, making their activities undetectable by our conventional methods. The lifespans of civilizations might not overlap in a way that allows for detection. Our methods for exploring space, primarily through robotic spacecraft and telescopes, might be insufficient for detecting signs of life or civilization. Advanced civilizations might use interstellar travel methods or construct megastructures that we currently lack the capability to identify or understand. In essence, the lack of technological capability theory suggests that the mystery of the Fermi paradox might be a temporary one, contingent on the current state of our technological development. As our capabilities evolve, so too might our chances of detecting extraterrestrial civilizations. This perspective encourages continued advancement and innovation in scientific research and technology, with the hope that we may one day bridge the vast gulf that currently separates us from potential cosmic neighbors. The communication is too difficult theory suggests that the reason we haven't detected signals from extraterrestrial civilizations is not because they don't exist, but rather because communicating across the vast distances of space is incredibly challenging, if not currently impossible, with our existing technology and understanding. The distances between stars are immense. Even our closest stellar neighbor, Proxima Centauri, is about 4.24 light-years away. This means that a signal traveling at the speed of light would take over four years to reach us from there, and vice versa. For more distant stars, communication would take hundreds, thousands, or even millions of years. Over vast interstellar distances, signals weaken and degrade. Electromagnetic signals like radio waves spread out and lose strength as they travel. The farther a signal has to go, the weaker and harder it becomes to detect. This dispersion means that a signal originating from a distant civilization would likely be indistinguishable from background noise by the time it reaches us. For two civilizations to communicate, their respective technologies must be compatible and synchronized. If an alien civilization is using a form of communication that is advanced or different from what we use or can detect, their signals might be passing us by unnoticed. A civilization may have moved on to different technologies or ceased to exist by the time their signals reach us. The decision to transmit a powerful, detectable signal into space might be a significant one, considering the resources required and the potential risks of attracting hostile attention. Communication at the speed of light might be too slow for practical interstellar conversation. A message sent to a civilization 100 light years away, and a response back would take 200 years. By the time a conversation could be established, the society that sent the initial message could be radically different or even extinct. The universe is full of natural sources of electromagnetic radiation, such as stars, black holes, and nebulae, which create a noisy background that can mask signals. Our ability to filter out this cosmic noise and identify artificial signals is still limited. Even if a civilization develops the technology to send powerful, detectable signals across space, there's no guarantee it will choose to do so, or that it will continue to exist long enough for its signals to reach other star systems. The communication is too difficult theory suggests that the silence we observe in the universe may not be due to a lack of extraterrestrial civilizations, but rather to the immense challenges associated with interstellar communication. This perspective underscores the limitations of our current technology and the vastness of space, 
while also hinting at the potential for future technological advancements that could one day make such communication feasible. The true solution to the Fermi paradox may be a combination of these factors, or it may be something entirely unexpected that we have yet to consider. As our exploration and understanding of the cosmos continue to grow, we may eventually uncover more clues that bring us closer to an answer.